Usually when we get a hailstorm, we get a few hailstones fall to the ground, some heavy rain, maybe some wind, and then it's over. But once in a while, there's so much hail that it accumulates, and that's fascinating. One of those storms, Santa Rosa, New Mexico, back on Wednesday. Look at this. This is not snow that's accumulated. It's hail. They had to take a snow plow and plow open the roadways. We sometimes see this, but not all that often. Here, before they plowed the roads, this vehicle was literally trying to plow its way through the hail that was at least a foot deep. Once in a while, flowing water will also pile up the hail into really deep patches. Now, that storm was a little unusual also in that it didn't linger. Here it is on radar. We'll see that it came across Santa Rosa. It was moving southbound and moving right along. It didn't stagnate, so it must have hailed very hard for the brief period when it was right over. Here's our exclusive hail tracker, and you can see over the course of an hour that hailstorm coming across and then continuing off down toward the southeast. Hail storms, they're most common in the months of May and June and pretty common at, at that time of year. 23% each of the annual percentage of hailstorms occur in those months, and that amounts to about 100 reports of large hail per day. Not all of those, of course, accumulate. I have seen some pretty big accumulating hailstorms in Colorado, and early July, that is one of the states, along with Nebraska and Kansas, that typically get the most hailstorms. Eastern New Mexico, not so common, so to see that kind of a pileup of hail in New Mexico, that's fascinating.